So if we look at the treatment of cervical cancer or the precancerous lesions, um, the most commonest procedure that is being done for these lesions is a LEDS procedure. It's a large loop excision of the transformation zone. And it does exactly that. We use electrocautery just to cut out this precancerous lesion or early cervical cancer. If the lesion goes in slightly deeper, we will then suggest that you go for a cone biopsy. So whilst we talk about a cone biopsy, we talk about now going in deeper and potentially affecting the strength of the, um, the cervix as well. So, and this is the earlier sort of treatment of the early cancerous lesions. And once the lesion, the cancer starts spreading more laterally or more upwards to the uterus or to the vagina, you, in the past always, um, if you have completed your family, the general treatment for this would be to do a total abdominal hysterectomy to remove the whole uterus with the cervix and the top part of the uh, vagina as well. But then again, if you have not completed your family or if you even have not started your family, you need to discuss different options with your gynecological oncologist. So if this lesion has spread, now you need to go wider and excise the lesion much wider. And this procedure we call a radical trachelectomy. So what this involves is you remove the whole cervix as well as the top part of the vagina. And as you can think, what you've done now, you've almost taken out a third of your uterus. So you've now potentially weakened the cervix to hold your pregnancy. And obviously there's no sort of chance of sperm um, getting to your fallopian tubes as well because all the cervical glands has been removed as well. And for these patients, we always suggest them to go to do in vitro fertilization and this is where we would go and harvest the eggs fertilize these eggs and then put back the embryos back into the uterus so even if you have lost a third of the uterus the uterus is still able to carry that pregnancy provided that we put in a abdominal circlage just to strengthen the cervix to make sure that the baby stays in for the full nine months in more advanced cancers, so we, and this we talk about a stage 2B, so where the cancer is just spread too wide, then usually for these patients, something like a total abdominal hysterectomy, a more radical a radical hysterectomy is indicated. But then again, is there any fertility to be saved as well? And I think for our younger patients, if this is the case, usually what we suggest then, once the hysterectomy is the fault, is to take the ovaries and transport them out of the position where you might get radiation to this field as well. And usually for these young women, you can either decide to let's preserve some eggs during this procedure, prior to the procedure, or transporting the ovaries out of the field of the radiation. So there's always options. And I think this is the point we want to just to raise as well. In a desperate situation like a cancer, there's always hope. There's always hope for young women that still have the need to have a family, to have a biological child, or maybe just to carry that pregnancy as well, to, to discuss these options with your gynecological oncologist. Uh, so so in, in modern medicine, we know that most doctors are focused on the patients, on the individual cases and treating those cases as is. We'll always encourage you as a patient to get involved in the decision making and to raise your needs with your oncologist um, so that we can plan your treatment and that we look at the whole sort of treatment of the patient as a whole and make sure that she achieves her wishes.